Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing and review. Today we'll be looking at the fairly new addition to Corsair's builder series of power supplies. It is the CX750 V3. As you can see, it comes in a plain cardboard box that has been slightly squished. I have confidence in Corsair's internal packaging, so the contents inside should be okay. You can see that this power supply is 80 plus bronze certified and Corsair provides a 3 year warranty on this particular model. There's not much else besides a picture of the power supply itself, so let's spin around to the back. Up here at the top we get some information about the connectors that this power supply has. Of course we get one 24 pin power, one 4 plus 4 pin EPS 12 volt, four 8 pin PCIe power connectors. This is plenty for pretty much all dual graphics card setups. Eight SATA powers, six Molex, and finally two floppy connectors. Corsair has provided a noise graph here. It's great to see that the fan will remain under 20 decibels up to 50% power load with a maximum noise level of about 40 decibels. Over to the right we get a power efficiency curve. As this is a bronze certified PSU, efficiency is expected to be above 85%. Finally some specifications on the output ratings. We will get 25 amps on the 3.3 volt rail, 25 amps on the 5 volt rail, and a massive 62 amps on the single 12 volt rail. It's good to see almost all of the power coming from this 12 volt rail, meaning more power for your graphics cards. Opening up the box we get some important safety information, a warranty guide, some cable ties and screws, as well as a nice thick power cable. Taking out the power supply itself, you can see that all the cables have been nicely sleeved in black. Let's go through the connectors quickly. Firstly we get our 24 pin ATX power connector, our 8 pin EPS 12 volt connector, 4 8 pin PCIe connectors, our 8 SATA connectors with 4 on each cable, And finally our 6 Molex and 2 floppy connectors. It's good to see a large 140mm fan used here and this will provide cool and quiet operation. Moving over to the back we get lots of ventilation, the power connector and switch. Note there's no voltage selector switch meaning this power supply has active PFC. On the sides we get the Corsair logos which have been placed so that they remain upright regardless of orientation. Finally I'll show you the specification logo on top of the power supply which lists all the specs I mentioned before. So that's my overview on the new Corsair CX750 V3. As always Corsair has done an excellent job with their products opting for this sleek black design. Another plus for the sleeving of all the cables. Stay tuned as I'll be using this power supply in my compact gaming build. Again, if you enjoyed watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to check back soon for more unboxings and reviews. Also remember to visit MaximumPCs.com.au for more information on our high performance desktops.